Our top story now happening today, 200 parents plan to gather with matching shirts, banners and signs. Now they are supporting a federal lawsuit which challenges Minnesota's child protection laws. In fact, a judge will start hearing the case in just a few hours. Kaya Edwards is live outside the courthouse in St. Paul. Good morning, Kaya. Good morning, Lauren. The association that's suing is made up of almost 5,000 parents, but as mentioned, a smaller group of or 200 of them will be meeting right here at 8 o'clock this morning. And after that, oral arguments will begin. So here are some of the key points that we can expect to hear along with the state's response. I was um, shocked. Madalise James, mother of three. Tony is seven. But for about a week, she was more like mother of none. They wouldn't tell me where my children were. They did not allow me to see my children. To me, that is kidnapping. An argument between family members, not her, prompted police to pull her kids from school. There was never no harm towards my children at all. But she fought it and won. They were just wrong and my case was dismissed. Now she and thousands more parents are hoping to win another case, a federal lawsuit against agencies enforcing Minnesota's child protection laws. Minnesota is uh, removing children unnecessarily from the home when there's no harm to the children. Group leader Dwight Mitchell points to another example from another mom. On the petition it said her house was messy and I was like, you know, you're taking a child because the house is messy. In court today, attorneys will argue that laws involving the foster care system are unconstitutional, that there should be evidence of child abuse before child protection services removes a child from home. So what does the state have to say about this? The Department of Human Services commissioner says, quote, it is always a hard situation when courts or county social workers remove children from their parents' custody. That difficult decision is based on the individual facts of the case and the needs of the children. Once judges, social workers, and other professionals complete a thorough evaluation and determine reunification is safe and in the best interests of kids, parents and children are, in many instances, reunited. All right, so what's next? The association is trying to hire additional attorneys, and so they are raising money and applying for grants for that. In the meantime, though, the hearing right here starts at 9 o'clock, again at the Warren E. Berger Federal Building here in St. Paul. Back to you. All right, Kaya, thank you for that.